Hello YouTube! What, what's up guys? My name is Bloody Mary and today what I'm going to be doing is giving you a little intro video of uh, my new YouTube channel um, and kind of the reasons why I'm doing this. So um, I've been thinking about this for a while now about possibly creating a YouTube channel. Um, I'm really just doing this just for fun. Um, I'm not looking to you know try to get rich quick or anything like that. This has just been something that I've been kind of thinking, you know, people sometimes they ask me for my opinion as to, um, you know, what champs I use or, you know, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> and the reason why, like I said, I'm just kind of doing this just because it would be a cool little thing to do, kind of a little a hobby, if you will. But uh, but anyway, <clears throat> so real quick, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple of things today, is I'm going to show you a little bit about kind of where I'm at. I know I'm a little late to the party, but kind of give you a start off with my profile. Um, as you can see, you know, my current uh, total base hero rating right now is 359,000, uh, getting up there. Um, I am, I don't consider myself a great player. Um, I do consider myself a pretty good player. Um, I don't have a Legends title, obviously. This is something that I'm looking forward to. This is going to be one of my New Year's resolutions that I'm going to be trying to do. I'm trying to update my masteries and stuff like that to try to do it. But um, I do look for end game material, you know, um, kind of see I am on challenge. I'll give you a little bit of kind of where I'm at story wise and stuff like that. Uh, but this is my profile that I'm at right now. You kind of can see my top four champions, Phoenix, Quake, Rogue and Magic, um, all fun champions kind of play around. Um, and if you have any uh, questions, like if you want to do like or want me to do like a champion spotlight, I'll give you the best um <clears throat> interpretation that i have of the, of the of the champ kind of play around with them a little bit there are some champions i don't have but when we get to that I'll, I'll you know i'll show you a little bit about the what my roster kind of looks like and where i go from there but um <clears throat> big shout out first off to uh the alliance that i'm currently with right now the reavers um i'd recently joined this uh, alliance probably a couple a couple weeks ago uh reason being was just i was just looking for you know better end game uh, material um I talked to some of the officers, you know, and I told them, I was like, look, you know, I have some, uh, you know, now that we're moving into the six star, uh, you know, they, they come out in a couple of days. And I talked to some of the officers. I said, look, I don't have that great of five stars, but I am hardworking. Um, and you can kind of see a little bit about my progression where I'm at right now. I'll go over to the story quest. Um, I am on, uh, I do have the uncollected title. Uh, I have completed that. Um, as you can see, I have 100% everything else. Um, I have 100% 5.1, and then I am slowly working on 5.2, but you can kind of see right there. Um, I have not started on uh, 5.3 yet, just because I don't have the right champions for it yet. Um, sometimes my pulls get a little um, crappy, but, uh, you know, hey, it's part of the game. But I do look for, I am looking forward to um, trying to, you know, kill that as quickly as possible. Um, because of course it's more about end game content and, uh, you know, the better champs you have, the, it, the easier it becomes. Um, <clears throat> so kind of come over here real quick. So this is the new Michael B. Uh, Jordan challenge that came out a while ago. Kind of give you, I don't know why it says 81%, but I have a hundred percent, uh, heroic. I have done a hundred percent master. I have done a hundred percent uncollected. So I am very familiar with how to do it. I do. The boss ch rush challenge, which, um, of course, all you guys know, that Magneto on that stun immune was garbage with the Bane. Horrendous. But anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of give you, like I said, uh, of course, Bravo Legends I've completed. Roads to the Labyrinth I've re been really slacking on, but uh, in the next couple of days, I probably will kind of finish that out. I'm only finished on, uh, <clears throat> kind of can see right here, I've only done 4.4. Uh, uh, I need to do 4.5, 4.6. But yeah, that, that debuff Rhino is just a pain in the butt. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, like I said, you know, kind of how I want to do this or why I want to do this is just really for fun. I ha I do watch other YouTubers, you know, like Seton, Brian Grant, uh, Rich the Man, Dorky Diggity Dave, Analyzer, um, Legacy, um, you know, just great YouTubers that I follow for probably over a year now. Um, and they have tremendous content uh, to kind of uh, talk to you about it um, <clears throat> they focus on it a lot more than I do so I highly recommend that you know if you have any questions or if you want to know what the heck a champion's going about look them up they're really really good um, I would highly consider them to any person especially that's in the MCOC community 
Uh, but yeah, so um, I can give you guys some progression, you know, um, some champion highlights or uh, spotlights coming over to the crystals right now. I also will do crystal openings. Um, <clears throat> you can kind of see right here. I'm actually saving right now for Blade. Um, he drops in February, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm trying to save all my crystals as I can. I got my, this four star that I got to wait. Uh, some premiums. I'm also saving my map five and map six crystals. Um, the reason why is because, you know, I'm just going to open all of them kind of at once. I'll open uh, the hero crystals in one, and then I'll open uh, the re resources in another one. Just because I want to, um, <clears throat> I just, you know, just kind of people like watching those videos, and it's okay to laugh at my pain. Um, but yeah, so you kind of can see right now I've got mm, 40 three premiums right here a couple of two uh three stars four stars and like i said i am saving for blades so every little resource is going into that i've got some five, six star uh hero crystal shards um i won't be opening that until most likely march unless i get a really good pull when i do um the uncollected um events but yeah so <clears throat> and then of course you know pretty easy um so i'll come over here to my roster real quick and uh, um, I'll kind of give you kind of a, a class by, you know, who I've got, um, some champions that I like, uh, some champions that I use, my five-star roster, and, uh, you know, just just some fun stuff. So, uh, of course, uh, Phoenix. Uh, the reason why I have Phoenix as my top one, of course, is mainly for prestige. Uh, I'm, like, around the 4,500 in prestige where I'm at currently right now. Of course, Rogue and Nice Man and Magic really helped me out a lot. Get out of the way. Um, but yeah, like I double duped a, a Phoenix in a, in a five star pull or a four star pull. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it. But kind of, kind of can see where I'm at. Some champions that I use still, uh, I'm just waiting to kind of, you know, get some awakenings or, um, I've got a couple of awakening gems, uh, that I have got. I pulled a science one from that Michael B. Jordan one when I hundred percent it, but that's another, uh, another time for another video. Um. First things first, I'll kind of come over here to my five stars. Um, I've pulled a grand total of 16 crystals in the five stars. And here are my 15. The reason why it's 16 is because I duped my Moon Knight. Um, I duped him once and then I fed some Sig Stones into him just because it was the first dupe I ever got. At the time, I had like six uh, five stars, so he was kind of awesome. I was very happy about that. Uh, my top three that I really enjoy playing with, of course, is Guillotine, Hawkeye, and Cable. Uh, I like those three really just because, you know, they're good unduped. Uh, they're even better once they're duped, so I'm just waiting to kind of get them. Uh, of course, then you kind of can see, you know, I've got a Yellow Jacket. He's okay. Both Cyclopses, I thought that was kind of funny. I got both of them. Uh, OG Black Panther, he's pretty good. Even on Duke, he can do bleeds. But then from Old Man Logan on, you kind of see a guy garbage. You got Old Man Logan, Superior Iron Man, Hulkbuster, uh, Netflix Daredevil, She-Hulk, Luke Cage, and Venom. <clears throat> um, just to kind of give you a record of my featured pulls, I am 0 for 1. And it was when I went for Spark back in August when he first came out. And my lovely um, person that I pulled was... Then, um, you know, the infamous guy going against him. But, yeah. Um, yeah. That was fun. I got I got tricked into doing it. You know, I was like, I don't know if I wanted to do it. So, my alliance mate said, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So, I went for it. And, yeah. Now, it's just to a point. You can kind of see where my five stars are at. Um, I pretty much have garbage um, for, the, for the most part. But, hey, you know, it can all pull around. So, <clears throat> anyway. I'm going to come over to my four stars real quick. And kind of the people that I use... Um, and I'm going to kind of go class by class, you know, kind of see who I have and if I'm missing anyone, I, I apologize. But some of the newer champs that came out, you know, like Modoc, Sentry, uh, Void in the science class, I don't have those <coughs> yet, um, but, you know, in time. Um, the two champs that I have are Quake and Captain, Captain America World War II. He is my go-to um, in a lot of my Alliance War offense. Um, so there's the science class. I'll move over to the skill. Really, I think the only person I don't have in this one is Kingpin. I could be wrong if I'm missing someone. Um, but yeah, this is where I've got right here. Of course, Crossbones and Gwenpool. Crossbones is fantastic in my uh, in my particular line in Alliance War Offense. And then I use Gwenpool for many, many, many uh, uh, questings. Go to my Mutant. 
I got Rogue, Iceman, and X-23. X-23 is a god when it comes to um, Alliance Quest. Uh, Iceman, I just, like, I literally just took Iceman up uh, yesterday so that way I can complete the Michael B. Jordan challenge. He was at uh, 4. He was at 440. I just borrowed him up to 550. He's at SIG, I think, 40 now? Yeah, 40. So, <clears throat> yeah, he was um, he was actually pretty cool. I got him from the $1 uh, crystal. I was so happy when I finally got him. Um, so there is uh, the mutant. Let's go to my cosmic. Um, Kai's cosmic. I've been playing this game for you know close to two and a half, three years now, and uh, no Hyperion, no Thor. I've been hunting for those guys for eons. It feels like um, I made a New Year's resolution this year that I'm just gonna start you know grinding arenas now um, for these champions because this is, it's just getting ridiculous. I can control my dusty a little better now. The four stars are kind of gonna start becoming a little bit more obsolete. Even though they're coming a little more obsolete, um, you know, Hyperion is still a great champion to have. You know, he is a uh, poison immune, so if you want to use him Q, you can still use him. Uh, and Thor, I know he was, uh, you know, bugged um, at 12.0, uh, but in my opinion, if you play him right, he can still be a great champion. But anyway, um, of course, like I said, Phoenix is just more of my uh, prestige. I use Angela a lot for my questing team. Um, because she has a nice synergy with Star-Lord, um, gives it a little extra uh, defense, plus uh, she can hit really hard, so it's really nice to kind of help. Uh, I just took my Captain Marvel up a couple days ago because um, I was using uh, an Ultron for AQ. Um, I finally decided I wanted to kind of play around. Uh, I duped her. I was like, you know what, let's see what happens, and I took her to 550 just because I kept on overflowing in Cosmic. So <clears throat> going to tech, I finally, finally, finally... Grinded for a god tier champion with Stark and Spider-Man. Don't judge me that I haven't taken him up yet. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, kind of like what I was saying, I'm holding all my resources until, uh, you know, Blade. So he's going to be there for a while. Just because right now at the content that I have, um, I've completed all of uh, January stuff uh, with the challenges and everything like that. So I'm in no rush right now with Spider-Man. Especially, you know, who knows, you know, when I put, do that crystal opening, hopefully I'll... You know, you know, get some of it, but uh, you know, like you see, Ultron and Star Lord are my two bad, uh, you know, bad mamma jammas, if you will. Um, I'm still, you know, I'm gonna be grinding later today for Vulture, so hopefully I'll be able to pick him up. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Oh, I did want to talk to you about. I've just just remembered this. Um, I'm still in the hunt for Archangel when it comes to the mutant, so um, you know, good. I need good vibes my way. Uh, in the tech, uh, I think I really am only missing Vulture. Um, I Like I said, I grinded for Spider-Man. I only did first round because I did put, I think, 7.4 mil, which was a lot. That was the highest one I've ever gotten, and uh, I vowed never again to do that. So I did get Nebula from there. Uh, I am missing Yondu. Uh, I missed that just by a little bit, but hey, it is what it is. Um, and then uh, kind of come over to my Mystic. This is, of course, in my opinion, my best... Uh, class than I have in regards of the quality champions I have. Okay, so I've got Magic, Guillotine, Mordo, Dr. Voodoo, uh, Dormammu. I think those top five right there are great. Of course, I am waiting to get uh, a dupe with Dr. Voodoo and Dormammu. They're the reasons why like I haven't taken them up to uh, 550 yet was because I haven't gotten the dupe for them and I just didn't want to waste the resources. Um, but yeah, um, and just kind of giving you a shout out, um, Guillotine, is my personal favorite you know a lot of people uh, in my opinion I feel like uh, kind of underestimate her a little bit I really like her I really enjoy playing with her she's very smooth uh, with my mastery build that I have I've got deep wounds uh, maxed up completely so she's a great bleeder for that um, I've also got uh, I'm working on my assassins so that's kind of helping the reason why I like her the most is because if you play her right, if you play her aggressively, you know, you can really help out, especially with the, her signature ability. Um, but I can do another video for that. I don't want to waste any more time on, you know, kind of what it is. This is just, she's one of my personal favorites that I like playing with. Um, so, but yeah, that's pretty much it for um, my champions. And, you know, uh, I am missing Ghost Rider in, the, in this one. So my top five I would have to look for would be Hyperion Thor. And I only say those two because I'm really just kind of waiting on them. You know, I really want to, you know, I've been waiting on them for a while now. Um, Hyperion, um, I'm sorry, 
<clears throat> Ghost Rider, Archangel, and then the fifth one would probably oh, probably would be Yandu. Yandu, I think, was a he could be a hard hitter. Um, but yeah, that's just my my favorite, personal favorite. And then of course I got a couple of four forties um, that I just haven't you know really taken up now that we're starting to kind of move into the six star. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, you know, like I said, I am uh, going to be doing a couple more videos later today um, about you know where I go with uh, you know the uh, <clears throat> uh, you know some challenges. Um, I may even do some AQ gameplay. Um, just to kind of, um, you know, just kind of have some fun with it. Um, I might, I may even do some live streams. Um, this is just something, you know, like I said, I just wanted to, I've been thinking about for a while and I just said, you know what, let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and do it. And, uh, but if you have any questions or if you have any, um, anything you want to see, go ahead and leave a, a comment below. And, uh, other than that, uh, you guys take care, rock and roll, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.